All right, good day, everyone. <clears throat> Today is going to be a uh, messy junk of wire. No, uh, I'm going to show you today uh, two two circuit that I found on internet. Um, one is a uh, switching power supply, but instead of this time, instead of stepping up, uh, we're going to step down. Right now, my output voltage is 3.33 volts, but I'm actually feeding it with uh, roughly 15 volts out of my uh, little uh, homemade kind of bench up power supply. 12 volt coming in a DC to DC converter to boost it up to 15 volts. And we're not going to talk much about this. Right now I have a 25 ohm load resistor and this is the scope shot. One is actually, this one is actually the output uh, just before the inductor and this one is just to show uh, where the, um, technically the Zener diode is. The schematic, for those who are interested, I'll just pop the light in, is uh, this one. The parts are actually not very critical since uh, I did not have any uh, 1K, 2K resistor lying around, Zener, 5 volt Zener diode and stuff like that. So I kind of improvise by playing with the parts and they are actually not very critical at all. For the Zener, I use uh, two little uh, yellow LED and the rest is basically the same. So there is my mess on the protoboard my big capacitor for filtering the output. <coughs> Sorry about that. And as I play with the load, you can see that it actually it plays with the frequency. And if I remove the load completely, it simply goes to regular uh, flat line. And my output voltage with no load, I, can, I don't know if you can see it very clearly here, it's uh, 3.4 volts. As soon as I reconnect the load here, it goes down a little. Of course, the regulation uh, drops the higher the amp you actually uh, ask for it. But it works quite well for people who uh, don't have access to um, voltage regulator or stuff like that, but has tons of transistor lying around. Well, it's a little good uh, project to build. Of course, keep in mind the PNP transistor need to be a power one because that's the one that's actually dissipating all the power uh, in your circuit. Uh, if you can change it for a MOSFET, I have no idea. Probably it would work, but you will need to experiment with the resistor here. The second circuit is... Um, a constant current kind of regulator but built out of two transistor and yes the circuit is kind of weird but it works quite well the only thing uh, this resistor here is actually 30 ohm right now because I was drawing putting in the little LED almost 30 amp with the similar setup so here it is I got my LED here acting as a uh, kind of a Zener diode to feed the first uh, right here. If you have a, um, a constant uh, power load here, it's going to be even better. Uh, if you put like, for example, one volt, whatever the voltage that you're going to put in the uh, input, it, the output's going to be uh, very stable. But I don't have that many power supply lying around, so I'm just going to go uh, with that. And those are, of course, my super uh, super mini sun LED. They, they can go up to 100 milliamp, so I'm not going to give those, uh, those the 100 milliamps they need today. But there is my uh, multimeter showing amp draw. And right now we can see I have... 19.85 milliamps LED is super bright 
and I'm gonna add an extra load to the circuit by adding another LED in series. I'm also feeding it out uh, 15 volts. Sorry, I'm just gonna drop my phone there. I'm actually, I'm actually feeding it off the same 15 volts from the, my power supply here. So there it is, another LED. And as you can see, the, amp, the amperage is quite stable, 19.8384. And if I short this LED out, oops. You can see that the load is not, uh, the amperage does not vary a lot. If I can show the light here. It's quite stable. So it works very well if you want uh, to, um, if you're gonna have an input voltage that's gonna vary a lot. <coughs> and you have a couple of those little transistor lying around, stuff like that, and you have at least one uh, stable voltage input while well, you can use uh, this circuit to work very well go there well that's all I have for you folks today hope you enjoy if you have any question well just feel free to ask them and I'll be glad to answer all right have a good day